so today is the first episode of time capsule tuesday bringing back original jdom.com vlogs original from back in 2008 when i first started my channel shout out to one of my og subscribers tony's world tony said i should totally upload my old videos to show my progression and my growth because i am totally not the same person from 10 years ago 10 years ago i was in 10th grade in high school i was just coming into my sexuality and identity and finding out who i was and who i wanted to become uh in relationships and with my friends so of course so much has changed in 10 years so hell yeah i'm bringing back original jdom.com vlogs i'm gonna open up the time capsule and we're gonna replay some of my classic vlogs when jdom.com first launched it was a lgbt blog where we talked about lgbt issues in the community we talked about anything and everything it was mad real all this to say nothing's changed about jdom.com. Stay tuned because after you check out this week's time capsule video, I'll be doing a response to that video one decade later. Whatever topic it is, I'm gonna respond to it and see if I still feel the same way if anything's changed. Let me tell you, it was not easy to get these videos. I had to travel about 30 minutes down the road, pick up an old school hard drive, come back home, convert all 50, 60 of my YouTube topic videos to MP4 format from Windows Movie Maker or Video Maker or whatever it was back in 2008 but it was totally worth it because seeing myself in the progression man totally worth it i'm so excited every tuesday we're going to be doing time capsule tuesday videos old school jdom.com original videos and responses to the video shout out to tony tony was an awesome idea and before all the haters come in i know what you're thinking you could have just did this on tbt throwback thursday or fbf flashback friday that's exactly why i didn't because it's already hashtag fbf and hashtag tbt so now there's hashtag tct for those who don't want to wait for thursday and friday you now have time capsule tuesday tct hashtag it brand it you're welcome enjoy the show So my next topic is gay dudes dating studs. I don't date them, but I love gay dudes. One of my good friends is a gay dude. We call each other boyfriend and girlfriend. When I see him, I give him hugs, tap him on his ass, kiss him on his cheek. I might kiss him on his neck, make him giggle. You know what I'm saying? They so intricate and sweet. They be so fucking feminine, more feminine than most females. But the ironic thing is they dudes and they cute. Most of them is real cute, you know what I'm saying? Like I could chill with a gay dude and be too, could totally like cool with it. Let me tell you this story. I was at a gay cookout not too long ago. Don't ask me why I remember, but I remember. I'm outside, it's a gay cookout. I'm outside playing basketball with all these studs. There's all these studs in the middle of the street playing ball. And a dude rolls up, can't drive, trying to park his car and drove up on the curb and came back down. So he said he's looking for the dude who throwed a cookout. I was like, oh, you at the right place? What's your name? Trey. Your name what? Trey. I was like, oh, okay. Trey. Hmm. Trey get out the car, and this nigga is dressed to impress, but in his own funky, crazy way. You know what I'm saying? You ever seen somebody who did some outrageous outfit, but that shit looks sweet as a bitch, and you know you could never pull that off if you tried. He's like this big, motherfucker. Nothing right here, but sticking his chest out. What y'all doing? Y'all playing basketball? I want to play basketball. This is the dumbest motherfucker I ever learned, I ever seen in my life, yo. So this nigga gets a crush on me in the all of five seconds. He walking around, holding my hand and shit, telling everybody, "This is my new boo." Yup. 
It started to get hot. Everybody else is stripped down to wife beaters. So I was like, I need to run and get me some new wife beaters. So I was like, Trey, let me drive your car to Dollar General. Can I go with you? Yeah. All right, let's go. Trey, let me drive his car. And I'm nowhere near having a license. When I'm talking to him, I'm asking him to sign and shit because I'm a Zodiac freak or whatever. And he's just so into me. We go in Dollar General, we get the wife beaters. And I'm trying to change in the car, but... I gotta take off all my clothes. So I'm like, you gotta turn. I can't look. No, you can't look at me while I take off my clothes and, you know. Alright. So he turned his head right and looking out the window. And as soon as I'm down in a sports bra, Owen. Oh. I was like, oh my god. Gave me his number. He called me, okay. Wherever you need me to take you, boo, I'm gonna take you there. <sighs> Gay dude. I think. Gay dudes be getting crushes on studs the most because studs act so much like niggas and we be sexy with it. So gay dudes don't know what to do. For those who go the extra mile to actually get into a relationship with a stud, gay dudes who date studs, conclusion would have to be that it's a hardcore stud that strap up on the gay dude. Hardcore studs that strap up on their ass, you know what I'm saying, Can really they can really benefit from. And personally, would I ever strap up on a gay dude? <laughs> If I was hella fired drunk and that nigga never touched me, it'd be fun to like take advantage of a man. Have a man squealing and screaming my name. But I've never dated gay dude. No, 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 no. That's that shit just go too far. Studs dating drag queens. Gay dudes and studs. Ugh. Where is the world coming to? Gay dudes and studs is a straight relationship whatever way you look at it. It's a straight relationship. It's so confusing. I probably sound confused as hell. And a lot of gay dudes is really cute and really attractive because they look like girls or they act like girls and stuff like that is so like interesting to me like how does it happen how, did, how does your mental get like that how is your voice so feminine you're a man you know I just like fucking with their head now if that makes me weird or mm, you want to question my sexuality do so what the fuck ever but that's how I feel yeah gay dudes are so like funny and interesting and that's all I gotta say watching that video was fucking nuts <laughs> that shit's wild I still love and appreciate gay men I do sometimes they do the fuck too much but they can say the same thing about us lesbians, lesbians and us studs. I'm in the club, I'll catch a twerk from a gay dude just as quickly as I'll catch a twerk from a, a chick. Like, it makes no difference to me. We're all people. Love is love. <laughs> Gender and sexuality is so fluid now in 2018. Like, there's no girl or boy. There's no pink for girls and blue for boys anymore. You have to be so much more conscious now. And I think that's where I changed. I'm just so much more woke and more conscious about people and beings i still don't think i could ever date a gay dude because i just don't see how that would work but i've heard stories i've seen it and at that time i think when i made that video i hadn't even started going to the clubs yet i wasn't even 18 but when i went to the clubs that was something i saw a lot of gay women dating gay dudes like that was normal <laughs> i don't know if it was just here or everywhere but oh my god the funny thing about that story i thought the, the story itself was hilarious so that's why i shared it with you guys it is a true story but right now in this day and age i promise you i wouldn't know trey from a sack of potatoes on the side of the street without that actual video recording telling that story 10 years ago i would have never remembered that ever happened <laughs> that's crazy if trey's out there I hope you're living good, baby. Nah, I still can't date no gay dude, but sexuality is fluid. So if I have that vibe or that connection and we want to we wanna make each other feel good, it is what it is. But I'm not out here looking for no connection with a gay guy. <laughs> One thing I want y'all to check out is a podcast. It's called um, Single in the City with Chelsea Lamore. There's an uh, episode called Ain't No Thing But a Chicken Wang. Guy on there who's a perfect example of gender fluidity and he talks about having sexual relations with a stud and his sexuality and the way he explains it is really cool just check it out the podcast is dope see y'all next week on time capsule tuesday